Esther Pearl, Mating in Captivity, Unlocking Erotic Intelligence. Welcome to the world of Emating in Captivity, Unlocking Erotic Intelligence, where Esther Pearl navigates the complex terrain of sustaining passion in long-term relationships. Through a series of compelling examples, this summary will unravel the paradoxical nature of our desire for intimacy and eroticism. Discover how acknowledging the impermanence of life can lead to a deeper connection with your partner, how maintaining individuality plays a vital role in keeping passion alive, and the importance of recognizing alternative ways to create emotional connection. Understand the roles of power dynamics, childhood experiences, parenthood, and fantasies in shaping our erotic lives. This engaging summary will leave you with valuable insights to rekindle your relationship. Balancing Security and Passion In our relationships, we often expect our partner to be both our source of security and passion. However, this places a lot of pressure on them and is fatal to passion. To reignite passion and find a balance between security and eroticism, we must let go of the fantasy of security and embrace the impermanence of life. By rediscovering mystery in our partner and looking at them with fresh eyes, we can constantly find new things to explore and reignite our passion. Retaining individuality in relationships. Discover the secret to keeping erotic passion alive in romantic relationships. The key is to maintain a sense of selfhood, rather than emotionally merging into one. Couples must reignite the adventure of otherness by retaining an independent identity. This makes room for discovery, and in turn, passion. Childhood experiences can shape our adult capacity for passion, but independence and curiosity are critical drivers in revitalizing a relationship. The Many Languages of Intimacy Contemporary society is deeply connected through social media and often equates intimacy with verbal communication. However, there are other ways to establish emotional connection. Candid discussion is traditionally viewed as essential to strong relationships, but those who may lack the skills to communicate verbally could be closing off opportunities to connect emotionally. Gender roles play a significant role in perpetuating the idea that men express themselves through physical interaction while expressing emotions verbally is viewed as a feminine trait. The author's friend, Eddie, had trouble finding romantic connections until he met Noriko, and they had to explore alternative ways of communicating. Ultimately, recognizing that there are multiple ways to express intimacy and love can offer broader opportunities for connections and help to break down gender stereotypes. Embracing Seduction, The Liberating Power of Erotic Play The author asserts that Western values of egalitarianism and safety have diminished our capacity for eroticism. To experience true eroticism, we must embrace the realm of seduction, power play, and role reversal, which many couples avoid due to its aggressive nature. However, consensual engagement with the dangerous aspects of eroticism can be liberating. The author highlights the case of Elizabeth, a feminist who enjoys sexual submission. By viewing their equitable marriage as distinct from their sex life, Elizabeth and her partner are free to explore the darker aspects of passion safely and lovingly. The author challenges the cultural perception of safe sex and the use of shame to discourage sexual exploration, arguing that these messages are counterproductive. Instead, we should view our passion as a source of self-expansion and abandon ourselves to its power. Childhood Experiences and Adult Eroticism our childhood experiences affect our ability to engage with eroticism as adults. How our primary caregivers treated us as children shapes our beliefs and expectations, including in sex. Our erotic blueprint, or what turns us on, reflects how our needs were met as children. Those who were emotionally neglected as children struggle with vulnerability as adults. By overcoming our childhood fears of separation, we can safely lose ourselves in the moment to fully experience eroticism and be confident that our partner will be there when we return. The way we experience dependence and independence as children influences our sex lives as adults. Our first educators in life, our primary caregivers, guide us on how to love and perceive our body, gender, and sexuality. This, in turn, 
shapes our beliefs and expectations, including in sex. The behavior we display in sexual relationships can illuminate childhood trauma. Our erotic blueprint, which encompasses what we find sexually appealing and arousing, is designed based on how our primary caregiver met our emotional needs. For instance, Dylan picks up men for anonymous sex twice a week to avoid vulnerability due to the emotional neglect he faced as a child. Sex therapist Esther Pearl offers a glimpse into how childhood experiences impact sexual relationships. James, for example, had a strong connection with his wife Stella but was sexually inhibited. During therapy, James's need to please was traced back to his relationship with his mother, who relied on him for emotional support. He started considering his sexual needs, too, which resulted in him enjoying sex, making him present in the moment and fulfilling Stella. By overcoming our childhood fears of separation, we can let go and safely immerse ourselves in eroticism, knowing our partner will welcome us back without reprimand, thus strengthening our connection. Keeping the spark alive Parenthood often puts a damper on couples' sex lives, but it doesn't have to. The key to maintaining passion is actively prioritizing it. By embracing guiltless pleasure and making time for regular dates with your partner, you can keep the spark alive. Pursuit ignites desire, so anticipation and fantasy play crucial roles in reigniting eroticism. Don't let parenthood define your entire relationship, prioritize intimacy to maintain a fulfilling sex life. The Power of Sexual Fantasies Sexual fantasies are often viewed as taboo, but they can be a valuable tool to unlock our erotic potential. By exploring our deepest desires, we can liberate ourselves from societal constraints and become more confident in our sexual needs. Sharing our fantasies with our partners can lead to deeper intimacy and fulfillment. The third person in your monogamous relationship. Acknowledging and embracing the presence of a third person in a romantic relationship can help prevent infidelity and create a healthy and playful dynamic. Despite the traditional notion that being in a monogamous relationship involves only two people, the reality is that there is a third person involved. This third person represents our individual fantasies and desires that may be real, imagined, or in our memories. Acknowledging and embracing this third person is the key to a lasting and healthy relationship. Admitting the presence of temptation and acknowledging that other people can be attractive helps negate the risk of infidelity. It is essential to understand that being committed to one person does not mean others become unattractive. By accepting the existence of the third person, we assert our freedom and commitment to the relationship. Some couples even incorporate the third person into their relationship through erotic roleplay, transforming them from a threat into a playful game. This transformation prevents anxiety and controlling behaviors that can lead to distrust and push partners away. Embracing the third person and incorporating play into the relationship leads to abundant passion that can last a lifetime. So, how many people are in a monogamous relationship? The answer is three, and embracing that third person is the key to a healthy and fulfilling relationship. In conclusion, mating in captivity, unlocking erotic intelligence, teaches us that passion can be sustained in long-term relationships by embracing uncertainty, maintaining individuality, and exploring alternative paths to intimacy. Recognize that eroticism thrives on the unpredictable and on embracing our desires and fantasies without shame. By understanding the importance of keeping a sense of I-otherness, alive in your relationship and addressing the intricate link between childhood experiences, personal fantasies, and parenthood, you can unlock the key to sustained passion in your relationship. Embrace Esther Pearl's teachings and find harmony between security and eroticism in your love life.